We thank you for taking a look at us here on uh, this video, and we also encourage you to uh, take a listen every once in a while to FreedomTruthSeekers.com, in particular our Youth Alive program. It is really kind of a cross-section of uh, some of the challenges that our young people face everywhere across the globe, some of the questions that we receive on Youth Alive just show the pain and the hurt yes. that has attacked and overcome a lot of these young people, Pastor Robert. Exactly, and we do have answers on Youth Alive. We have answers on our blog as well, but I remember very vividly one morning getting up and reading the blog, and it was a young boy, I think 15, and he said, I'm at my last breath here, I've, I've had enough, I can't take life, and you could say he was having a hard time writing and typing in this thing, and it was only several minutes later that he died, and it was too late for us to even help him. We, we had no way of getting to him. This is the, the hopelessness of our youth today. We have a generation that is looking for answers. They even go to churches for answers. And you know, they don't get the answers in churches. Not too they, often. Not too often. They, 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 they are looking for someone with truth, and they're having a hard time finding it. Well, you can find it on freedomtruthseekers.com. We do have truth. And Satan is mad at those who are disseminating truth today. Because these young people need answers, and some of them are so far gone, it's going to have to they have to wait until a future resurrection when Jesus calls them to come to life after the millennium. He's going to have a resurrection for those who didn't know Him and didn't understand, who were so uh, burdened by oppression, by depression, that they took their lives. He will bring them back. They're not lost forever at all. But we, we do need to pray for these young people. We do need to intercede for them so that there can be some hope for some of them. Some of them there will be no hope. But others can be, by intercession, can make it. They can see the hope. They can understand there's a purpose in life. And they can go for that purpose. So we pray life for these young people. We know that God has life in view for them sooner or later. But right now they certainly need prayer.